All right, guys, so this vote was so close, so I'm definitely going to have to make the other one sometime this week, too. But we are going to do zucchini lasagna. So all I'm going to do is dice my onion, and I'll be right back. You're so weird. <laughs> all right, guys, I got my onion diced. I'm going to turn my heat on high, add in my onion and one pound of ground turkey. And we're just going to cook it through and break it up. All right, so I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt. To the ground turkey and i'm also going to add in a teaspoon of garlic powder and we might be making a dessert tonight guys dania's pick she said she had a bad day so she gets to pick what sweet treat should we make today all right, guys, so now I'm just going to add in my sauce. You can use whatever jarred sauce you like. This is just a one-pound jar. I'm using a no-sugar added because um, it was just less points. Um, but use whatever one you want. And I'm just going to add this and turn this down to a simmer and just let it simmer. And then we'll get our zucchini ready. So easy, you guys. All right, so for the zucchini, I'm just gonna use my mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you can just use your knife. But all I'm going to do is cut these into like medium thick slices lengthwise. So I just cut off the top and the bottom. And I take my mandolin and I just carefully put them through. Once it gets smaller, I will use the guard. This thing is so sharp and so dangerous, you guys. So you gotta be careful with it. But this is how thick I'm doing you can see how thick it is so if you're gonna use a knife just cut them to your thickness preference and I'm gonna do three total zucchinis okay so now we're just going to put our lasagna together I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees I'm going to take the sauce that we prepared with the turkey I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the bottom of my casserole dish and we're just gonna layer it up just like a lasagna like a traditional lasagna um instead of using noodles we are just using zucchini and i also do this with spaghetti squash and zucchini and it's super delicious i do a taco lasagna that's super delicious um which i i actually should have did that today since it's taco tuesday but it is what it is and this is going to be absolutely delicious I, for one, love ricotta cheese in my lasagnas. So we're adding ricotta cheese. And you're just going to layer the sauce. And we're so I layered the sauce. And now I'm going to take a little bit of my ricotta and just dab it all around. Um, I have a full, almost a full container. What is it? It's a 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. And I'm just going to use it in this but you can feel free to skip the ricotta if you are not a fan so you're just gonna spread this out and then we're gonna put a layer of our shredded cheese I'm using a shredded Italian blend and then we're just gonna keep layering until we get to the top and that's it you guys it's super simple just like a regular lasagna I've got two cups of shredded Italian cheese and that's what we're using but you can use whatever cheese you want and then we're gonna layer up our noodles. I like to alternate two. These are ugly, so we're gonna put them. Okay, this is the final layer. So I'm just going to sprinkle the rest of my cheese up here. I ended up using not a full bag, but I'm gonna use the full bag for the top. So it'll be two full cups of shredded cheese. And we're going to sprinkle some Italian seasoning and pop this in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then dinner's ready. 
so quick, easy, and delicious. We're just gonna leave it until it gets a little bit golden up on top, and then it's ready. Sprinkle of Italian seasoning, and she's oven ready. There she is, 30 minutes later, golden brown and yummy looking. Now we gotta slice it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this.